Sports Information Director Travis Child here with King, Head Women's Volleyball Coach Chris Toomey. How are you doing this morning, Chris? Doing great. Uh, coming off the tournament last weekend at the West Georgia Invitational, first day you played West Georgia, you fell 3-1, to one, and then you rebounded with a win against Notre Dame. How, how did the first day go? Yeah, you know, we knew going in that this tournament was going to have some great competition and, and have teams that um, are, are well prepared and, and we're, we're going to give us um, you know, just uh, we would really challenge us, and, and that's what happened. Um, you know, our first match was against West Georgia, the home school on their home court, so the first match of the year, and um, it was you know a, a good team, and, and I felt like we saw a lot of good things. I think that we were definitely a little bit up and down that first match, and um, had some opportunities that that we didn't take advantage of. Um, and you know we we lost in four, but felt like we had some opportunities that could have um, allowed us to to, to possibly have been more successful against them. But uh, you know the second match against Notre Dame, they um, I felt like we we came out much more focused and and I think we executed uh, much better in that match and um, really saw some good things. So I think. You know, it's, it's probably what you expect a little bit. You, you hope that you don't have to go through those matches of, of a little bit of a roller coaster. But um, I think it's uh, for, for, the fir for the first day of the, of the season and kind of being out there in an actual match, we saw a lot of good things and, and a lot of good things to, to build on. So. And it looked like the offense kind of picked it up there against Notre Dame. Summer Kramer had 17 kills and Kelsey Griffiths followed with 12. Yeah. And they, they were there all weekend too. Right. Yeah, it's both of them really stepped up the whole weekend and, and that's what you hope from a, a junior and a senior to to kind of take some of the load and put it on their shoulders and, and you know, when, when we need points and when we need plays for them to make it. And they did and they did that really for the, the, the big part of the weekend and, and we're just, a, I, I think, probably our most consistent form of offense. And um, so we'll be looking to them uh, a lot this year. Yeah, and then, then Saturday didn't turn out quite how you wanted. You lost a heartbreaker, 3-2 to two to West Alabama, 18-16 in the fifth. Yeah. And then fell about the last state in the nightcap. Um, talk about that a little bit. Right. Yeah, you know, the West Alabama match was, was tough because uh, they're a good team. And, and I felt like we had played really well. We put ourselves in a great position by going up 2-1. to one and. Uh, especially in that first and third, first third set, we we had played so well, and and I just felt really good about kind of our energy and kind of the level of uh, of, of of our play. Um, and I think the fourth game we just we we kind of lost a little bit of intensity and, and a little bit of focus. And um, against a good team, you just you can't do that. And so I think once we we tied it at, at uh, two to two and went into that fifth set, you know at that point it's anybody's match. Although we ended up playing well that match, that set, and going up 13 to 11, and you know being in a great position to take the match, and uh, just didn't come up with the plays that we needed to at the end. Uh, but a good team, and, and one that I feel like we should have um, we should have won, but um, you know still some good things came from it. Valdosta is is traditionally a great program, and and they have a great team. I, Actually, at points, really felt like we played a, a good match against them, and um, you know there there were some things that we saw that we, we definitely are going to help us get better. But um, but yeah, coming out three one and three is it's not exactly what you hope for. Um, but I think there are some things that we we kind of saw in ourselves that we definitely can can grow and build from. And in that West Alabama match, uh, defensively. Uh, Mary Beth Kern had a career high 25 digs and followed that and Peyton Tipton also had 21. I mean, that had to be pretty good defensively. Yeah. You know, I felt like going into this year our defense was going to be one of our strengths and, and you know the personnel you have and they are two of uh, four or five that really just have done a great job for us so far and, um, you know, they were so solid defensively that match. Um, we, we, the West Alabama team is, is a big physical team and so they were, they were coming at us the whole match and, and I felt like that was one of our really bright, you know, one of our, the highlights of that match was just how well our defense played. And, you know, Mary Beth is a six rotation player and that she plays on the outside and, and on the front row and, and is also playing the back row and she just had a great tournament, really, um, you know, having to kind of carry the load for six rotations for four matches over two days, it's a lot, but she really stepped up. And then going into this weekend, we host your own home opener this weekend, uh, the King University Invitational. Friday at, at noon you play Southern Wesleyan and then right. later that night with Carson Newman, 
Can you talk about the tournament and what, what's going on here this weekend? Yeah, I'm just really excited about kind of the, 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 the field that we have and um, we have teams coming from a lot of different conferences. Um, Southern Wesleyan, the, the first thing we play is a, is a strong program and, and they're already off to a really good start. Uh, interestingly enough, they um, opened uh, the weekend of August 23rd, so they've actually played three consecutive weekends and I think are, I don't know, 12 to 14 matches into their season. So they have a lot of time on the court and a lot of game experience and, and I think that's probably going to help them. Uh, but I know that, that they will be, bring a great team. Carson Newman is always strong from the South Atlantic Conference and um, you know we've, we've played them for years and, and so that program uh, is, is always is just consistently um, you know good. And so uh, those two matches on Friday will be big for us and, and um, you know so we're looking forward to them and just a lot of great competition overall. Eight different teams going to be here and um, so looking forward to a lot of great play. And then Saturday, you wrap up play with Virginia Wise and then Concord University. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you tell me about them? Yeah, you know, both of those teams, they're, they're not in our conference, but they're in our, our, our kind of our region and, and uh, our, our teams that we've played for years. And so uh, just good rivalries with both of those schools and, and both bring in solid teams. Um, and so just uh, really excited to see how our team responds and be able to play on our home court. All right. Thank you, Coach, and good luck this weekend. Thank you.